Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the DreamTech H12 Pro Cordless Wet and Dry Vacuum Cleaner. What I want to do today is to show you around the vacuum, some of the features and benefits that it offers. Just before I start, I would appreciate it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, just give us a quick thumbs up. But first of all, what we need to do is to get the vacuum unboxed. So, I must say, I really like the packaging. It's quite informative from the outside. Uh, a lot of information. Uh, it's got a list of the like the packaging, well, the packing list, everything that's in there. Uh, it's got a quick start guide. Uh, there's, that's that's normally quite helpful. But first of all, I think it's just more important I get everything out. I don't have a huge amount of space here, but I'm sure I'll manage somehow. So what have we got? First of all, we have some of the, I think this is some of the detergent. Yeah, so that's the multi-surface floor cleaner. I always think it's good when the, when the manufacturer puts some in there. It, at least you don't have to go and go out and buy some of the, some of the detergent or some of the liquid straight away. What have we got in this box? There's quite a few, there's quite a few different accessories. Uh, so we've got the one of the, the fluffy floor head, got the instruction book. I think I might have to refer to that in a moment. Uh, we've got a brush, no doubt that's used for the cleaning of the, the vacuum. Uh, I think what I'll do is I'm just going to put these bits to the side for now and then I'll start to have a look in a bit more detail in a moment. Uh, if you follow me on YouTube for a while, and I do tend to mention this in quite a lot of my videos, I do comment on the packaging that the manufacturers are using and I'm really pleased to see that DreamTech are using brown cardboard. First of all it's very good because it's nice and strong, hopefully protect the vacuum while it's in transit and also it's fully recyclable as well. So that's the, the vacuum itself. What else have we got? A bit more package in there. And then we've got the, it's like the charging dock. So that's very substantial. Uh, I think what I would need to do at the moment is I'm just gonna clear away the box, uh, just get some of the packaging put to one side. Then we can start to have a look at the vacuum. So now I've got everything unboxed, I'll start to show you around the vacuum. Uh, there's quite a lot to talk about on this one. Um, I don't want to spend too much time on talking about the specification. I just want to go through it briefly because I will give you a demonstration in a moment. Uh, but first of all, just showing you some of the accessories that it comes with. This is the uh, charging dock that arrives with it. Uh, and the idea is that the, the vacuum will just sit on there. So when you finish with it, then you just pop it on there like that. Uh, it normally takes around three hours to charge. Uh, I, I must admit I've not tried it yet. I haven't charged it. That's just referring to the instructions. So it's around three hours, and for that you get around 35 minutes runtime when it comes to filling the liquid. It's really easy. Uh, you've got the clean liquid on the back, and you've got the dirty tank on the front. So this is a 900 milliliter tank on the back. And really the idea is, once you're ready to use it, you just got a little flap there, just open it up, pop around 10 milliliters of the detergent. It is recommended to just use the detergent that arrives with it. Uh, what I'll do is I'll try and find a link below uh, of some extra. So if you do need some more, then I'll find a competitive price for you. Uh, but if you put a small quantity in there and then put the water in, then when you've when you've got that filled up, then you just shut that. It's got a really that's a really nice feel. Uh, it's got a rubber bung around there that just stops any of the water coming out at all. Then once you've done that, then that just pops back on onto the back there and on the front this is the dirty water tank and this one's a little bit smaller well it does look a bit bigger uh, it's I must say the size of that looks a, a little bit bigger but I think that's the reason is because the max line is to around there so really the maximum capacity on here is 700 milliliters so you've got 900 mil on the back 700 in the dirty water tank and really I suppose the idea is that you'll see it filling up it's quite a quite a visual thing sat on the front. So when it comes to changing the brush roller, couldn't be easier. 
Uh, must admit, I did have a quick go a moment ago, and I'm really impressed. You've got a couple of clips on the top here. Pull that top off. Uh, that's really nice because it's, uh, well, just a couple of clips. That pulls off and that's easy to keep clean. Just give it a wipe or just give it a, um, I suppose, get a damp cloth to wipe that over. You've got a button on the side here that just presses and then just pull the vacuum back a little bit and that comes off like that. So you've got a little handle on the side there and with the spare one, so I'll just show you this, all you would need to do is to just put the spare roller back on and once you've done that, that just, that's it. Locate it properly at the end, clip it on and then you can just push the top on there, then you're ready to go. Couldn't be easier. I've just now done that with one hand. Uh, I'm really impressed actually, because there are so many other vacuums. And I know I'm comparing them to perhaps other cordless vacuums, which are just dry ones, not wet and dry. But some of them, you have to take the plate off the bottom, you have to unscrew bits. They really are not user-friendly, where that is probably as easy as it gets. Another comment that quite a few people make is when you buy a vacuum like, not necessarily like this, I suppose any cordless vacuum or any vacuum cleaner, uh, sometimes the manufacturers will supply a good array of accessories uh, and spares with them, but sometimes you don't have anywhere to put them. So what DreamTech have done is on the, on the base here, they've made it nice and easy for us. And the idea is that you've got these two parts. I must admit, I did wonder when I first unboxed it, but all you need to do is just clip them inside here. So you've got one that clips in there and the other one that clips in there like that. So they are, they're in there now. They're not gonna move, but if you don't want them in there, just take them out. That's, that's dead easy. And that just really enables you to put the, put the spare roller in there, put the filter in there, and you've got the cheeky little cleaning brush that's a slot in that side there, whichever way up you want it, it doesn't matter. Uh, but again, very impressed that they thought about the storage facility that's needed with a vacuum. So I think we're really at the stage where we need to get the vacuum switched on and start to have a look at how it works, give you a demonstration. Uh, but all I need to do is to pop the handle in. Now it's a really simple handle. Uh, all you need to do is just pop it in the top there like that. You'll hear it click into place. Now it can come out, uh, all you need to do, if you want to take it out, you just need to pop a small thin screwdriver into there, push the button back in, then you can take the handle out. So now we're ready to start a look at the vacuum. Uh, just on the handle at the top, uh, unfortunately it's just out of view of the camera, uh, but there is a button on the front and that switches the vacuum on. Uh, let's just take the sticker off of that. Don't need that on now. So first of all, I'm really impressed with the display. Uh, this is just showing the percentage of the battery remaining. So as you can see here, it's 51%. And I haven't charged it, so this has just come out of the box. Uh, but what you have got, you have got three different modes that you can use while you're using it as a floor cleaner. Uh, so the first one, so this is auto mode. And basically what this will do is it will, so while it's cleaning the floor, the appliance will automatically adjust its suction depending on the different situation. So if you've got, say, a spillage on the floor, and then if you're going to just use it to wash the floor, then it will increase or decrease the suction accordingly. And that's something I want to have a go at in a minute. Uh, so that could be very good. As you press the button on the front. Sterilization mode. So that's saying. Sanitizer. So that's saying sterilization mode or in instructions. I must admit I'm having a quick read through the instructions at the moment, uh, but that says ultra mode. And that's, so when it's in ultra mode, uh, this is really suitable for deep cleaning. So this could be a, um, I suppose if you've got some Sanitizer prepared. fairly, that well, I must admit that's preparing itself for the, um, I suppose for quite a, a deep clean within the floor. So if you've got quite a big stain on the floor that you want to have a good go at, then that's really the one to use. Uh, the next one mode. is the suction mode, as it just says. And with this one, so this is where the appliance will vacuum water only and the brush roller won't get wet. Uh, so in theory, this is if you've had a spillage and if all you want to do is just suck up some water. So if you've say knocked over a glass of water or a drink, then that's really the one to use. So no water will come out of the cleaner. What I've done is I've just filled the water in here. 
So you should hopefully see, I've, I've not quite filled it to the top, I just wanted to leave it slightly below the top, just so I could show you that I put the water in. Clearly if it goes too high, then you're not gonna see that I've put it in there. Uh, but within the, the solution that you get, so I've just opened this up, and what's really good is that the lid is actually a measuring cap. And it does say on the back here, so on the instructions to put in 10 milliliters of cleaner into the bottle cap. And I know you won't be able to see it, but I'm just putting a small amount in there. There's not a lot at all. So that's the, that's all you need in there. That's 10 mil. And let's pop it in to the solution. So, sorry, put it into the water. So you can just see, it's just gone a slightly cloudy color. And all it says, just to give it a quick mix up, you just want to make sure it's evenly distributed with the water and then pop it in the back, clip it on. Now we're ready to go. So let's have a go. Uh, I will be honest, this is the very first time I've switched it on. I've not had it on before. So this is the first time. Let's have a look. So we've got the on and off button. Let me, I'll just show you this. So on the handle here, you've got the cleaning mode, which I'll go through in a moment. And then you've got the two buttons on the front here. So we've got the on and off button. Uh, Power it off. So we've got the, so that was just, because what it does, it actually goes into standby mode. So I hadn't switched it off fully. So, auto mode. so we're going into auto mode first. That's really the one I want to try. And all you need to do is just pull it back. Now, I'll be honest, I can't believe how easy that was. Um, what was happening, as I was moving the, uh, the floor cleaner forward, it was just helping me almost glide along with it. Um, I'm just gonna try and show you that again, because I'm almost speechless as to how easy it was to operate. So you can see, I'm not actually doing anything, but what it's doing is it's almost taking itself forward. And I must say, that's probably one of the easiest So as I was saying, I can't believe how easy that was. Um, you might be able to see there's like a, a shine on the floor. What I tried to do is I tried to get the light from the back um, just to make it a little bit easier to see. Um, but I'm, I'm really impressed. Um, there is a small amount of water within the dirty container. I know I did, I, I've, okay, I've only done a, a tiny amount at the moment. So I've got almost a pint of water here, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour this onto the laminate floor, which this is. Now, I know laminate floor doesn't like water, uh, so I need to be pretty quick with this. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set it into the suction mode, and I just want to see how well it picks all of the water up, and I suppose how quickly it'll do it. So, let's have a go. Wow, that's going pretty quick. Look at that. Powering off. Gone. Please put the appliance on the charging base for self-cleaning. Gone within seconds. Just show you that. So that's all, oh, nearly dropped it. So that's all in the front now. Uh, I know the lighting, I'll be honest, isn't fantastic at the moment. I need to uh, probably take it over to the window to show you, but that's all of the water. 
that was on the floor and that's been picked up within seconds so if you'd had a spillage on the floor then if you've got the cleaner nearby then that's absolutely fantastic really impressed with that what i'm going to do is just take the cleaner out to the conservatory uh, i'm just going to try the deep cleaning mode or the ultra mode as they call it uh, just really to see how well it does on the the vinyl out there i must admit the uh, the vinyl out there it's been down some years uh, i didn't put it down myself uh, but it could do with a bit of a clean and what will be really interesting is to see if it makes any difference to it but uh, let's have a go so we do just need to leave it for around 20 seconds it says uh, but what it does is it's just counting up so it's at 50 percent at the moment 60 70 80 percent 90 so that's ready to go then. So let's see how well we get on. Now what's going to be really difficult is, I know you won't be able to see the difference, but I can definitely see that it's damp on here. Um, what I'm very impressed at is that when I have done the cleaning in here, uh, both the hard floor and on the vinyl in the conservatory, that it doesn't feel wet, so it'll be dry really, really quickly. Uh, that's another advantage of using this cleaner. Once you finish doing the cleaning, then at some point you'll want to just pop it back on the base to charge it like that so first of all what it just says on that is just move the camera a little bit nearer so you can see on the top there uh, hopefully you can see oh, i know there's a little bit of glare from the windows i got but that's at 44 percent at the moment and then that will gradually increase to fully charged uh, but what you do have the option to do is to put it into what they call a self-cleaning mode now that's the button on the top of the handle so that's the, the button there. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to press that because I just want to see what it does. I must admit, I've not tried it. This genuinely is the first time that I'll try this. So. Preparing sanitizer. That's it. So what you need to do is you need to make sure that there is a certain amount of water within the clean water tank just around the back. It is on the level, so there is a level at the back that shows you how much water you need to have in there. And what you also need to do is to make sure you've got at least 15% of the battery. And what this is doing, this is just going through a self-cleaning mode at the moment. So I'm not doing anything. And it gives you a percentage, just take it nearer to, to the display. So that's just the percentage of the program that it's working through. And hopefully you can see at the bottom, the, the roller itself is rotating certain directions. This is absolutely fascinating. So hopefully you can hear that, it's just speeding up. And I know I've only used it a couple of times. Uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you the, the dirty water tank because I will be honest, I'm almost embarrassed how dirty the water is coming up off the floor there. Uh, what, what I am gonna do, once I've, once I've finished doing this video, I'm just gonna go around and uh, finish off some of the other areas uh, on the, the laminate floor. But 
just on top here. So we're at 93, we're almost there. There we are. So, so this is just going through the drying mode at the moment, and that's just drying the the brush roller. Because what you don't want to do is you don't really want to leave that wet. So the drying mode is something you can select either manually or at the end of the self-cleaning mode, it will just go into it on its own. Uh, I must admit, I was really impressed because although it took a while to do, um, it did take, uh, I think it was about 10 or 15 minutes to go through the whole drying mode. But now that the, the roller at the front is nice and dry, uh, you will, some of you are probably wondering why I've got a, a glass jug here. And what I want to do is just want to show you how dirty the water is, because I can see in the front there, and as I say, I'm almost embarrassed how, how dirty the, the floor is here, but I know it hasn't been cleaned for a while. So I'm just going to empty this out, uh, because this is more of a, it's a, like a translucent color. Oh. Uh, but I just want to pour the water in here. So you can see that that is way off clear. That's not what it should be like. Um, ideally, I'd want it to be clear when I've uh, when I've cleaned the floor. So I'm, I'm just going to put that behind the vacuum because if anything, that's quite embarrassing. But anyway, that's the that's the state of my floor. As I just mentioned earlier, I think I need to go and uh, I need to pull my finger out and I need to clean some of the rest of the floors. I must say I always enjoy the videos where I demonstrate the product. I get a little bit involved. Uh, rather than just talking about it. And I've really enjoyed making this video, despite the colour of the water that's come out of the vacuum. Uh, but if you are impressed, as I am, with this, and if you're thinking about buying one, I've provided a link below to show you where to get one at a competitive price. Hope you enjoyed this video on the DreamTech H12 Pro wet and dry vacuum. Please give us a thumbs up, click subscribe on my YouTube channel, leave any comments below. I always ask for comments, whether it's good or bad, about the video. If there's something that I've missed, so if you came to the video to uh, hopefully some advice or if there's a question that I haven't answered, then I've got one here, then just pop in the comments and I'll get back to you. Also, if you have got one of these, then let me know what you think about it because I always really, really appreciate the feedback. Anyway, thanks for watching.